Coach John Limbaugh Show brought to you by Lori Darlings in Fayetteville, Alabama. And Brother John, I was down at Talladega Springs for a funeral service at the cemetery down there last week. Mm -hmm. And I'm coming back, and I said, i got to stop at Lori Darling's. Oh, yes. Hamburger yes. steak and baked potato. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You can't beat it. It's great stuff. I really appreciate <laughs> what uh, what they do for our uh, football program. You know, they've program. been supporting you guys for a long time. For a long time now. Yeah. I, I love her death, and she does a great job, and, and Lori, and it's got good food. Good yeah, food. no doubt about it. And, no uh, about awesome. It. Uh, last week is one of those weeks where I've heard coaches say, you just – flush it and go on. Uh, Wadley <laughs> is a real deal, ranked number one in class yeah. 1A, and they showed it, didn't they? Uh, brother, they were as advertised. <laughs> they were real. Uh, it was a woodshed moment for us. Uh, Sheila Limbaugh growing up gave me a lot of those, and uh, we took an old-fashioned whooping. There's always to it. We we held with them for a while and uh, got into the second quarter. You know, we traded scores, and it, everything was going pretty good, and then uh, second quarter, we throw a ball down to, I guess, you, you know, about a 25, 30-yard pass. And we run it down to the, like the uh, 15 or 20-yard line, but it gets brought back for a hold. Mm. Really feel like we were going to score on that drive, moving the ball well. Coach Collier doing a fabulous job calling plays and got down there, and then it gets brought back. Well, uh, they get the ball back off a of punt, and, and, and they go score. I look at that as a 14-point swing. Once that happened, it kind of went downhill yeah. from there. Yeah. It, was a, it was a big momentum shift in, in the football game, and we didn't handle it very well. Uh, you were saying a while ago what we might learn from, from this. I'd a lot rather learn from a win, <laughs> but there are things that we learned from, from the game. And uh, I, I know one thing from practice this week, our kids bounced right back. Uh, I've had people ask me before, Coach, how do you get them back? I never really had to worry about the young men from Fettel. They're ready to go again right out of the gate. They they understand the game of football. They know we played a quality number one opponent last week. They know we did well for a little while, and then we let some things slip. And it comes back to blocking and tackling. Uh, Wadley, you know, Coach Molly did a great job. They were prepared, and they won that line of scrimmage. And when you don't win in the trenches, it's hard to win a football game. Yeah, and Wadley, Pretty big football team up on the front line too. Big boys. They, yeah. they were they were up front, very big. And the one kid they had that was small, he would get after it. <laughs> and number sixty-two, he would, he would get after it. He was pretty good. Uh, but you know they had some you know superior running backs. That number six, thirty-four, both of them. You know I I, I told everybody watching film. Six is one everybody was watching because he's all that and bag of chips. He's going to either Penn State or Auburn or somewhere. He's really good. But I said, we better watch that 34. And sure enough, he, he poured it on us. That 34 yeah. is a really good yeah. ball player. And, uh, you know, quarterback handled the offense very well. So what do you do after a game like that? Well, you, you look as, as, as coaches, you look at it, and, and you said flush it for, a, for a, a point to that. Yes, you do. You've got to move on. You've got to move past it. Bad things in life, if you want to keep living life, you've got to get through them. Yeah. But you've got to learn from them. And that's what I love about the game of football, and I, I really believe we learned from it, and, and we learned a lot about who we are. Our kids are, are back now. They're ready to play. Uh, it, you know, that first, that Monday practice was kind of, you know, this, he, not, not here nor there. It wasn't great, but Tuesday, things started getting better. Wednesday was one of the best practices we have all year. Absolutely. Well, uh, Winterboro mm -hmm. tonight. On the road, the big yellow bird. Yeah. Yeah, and um, uh, the Bulldogs got a good football team. They got a good football team. Uh, they always do I, for for years. One thing you count on from Winterboro is they're going to be fast and they're going to be physical. Uh, well, we are too. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that uh, it's going to be a great football game. Uh, I know it might be a little rain out there uh, tonight, but that's okay too. You know, we still play football in the rain. That's what I love about football. And no matter what life throws at you, you got you got to get up there and go. So uh, they're going to be ready to play. They're going to be well coached, and uh, we're gonna, it's going to be all we can do to win the football game. But it's going to be a great game. I, I want all our fans to come out with the rain suits and umbrellas. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, any kids that jump out 
uh, to you off the page about after a loss of the magnitude of, of Wadley that, that just stood up and said, hey, guys, we've got another game next week. Let's play. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I thought that Britton Cantrell had a really good game. Uh, we did some swapping up with, with uh, he and, and Carter Goins. And Carter Goins threw the ball quite well, and uh, Britton caught the ball very well. Uh, Hadn't have brought the play back that had about 200 yards passing. Mm -hmm. Other than that, they had about 160, 170 yards passing. And I thought that was a good uh, bright spot and otherwise a dismal night. But um, I, I really like what they brought to the table. Absolutely. Those, those two had a pretty good ball game. Uh, Winterboro tonight, you've seen tape of them talking about how fast they are and, and, and that kind of thing. Uh, what really else jumps off the page to you? They got 16 ball players from TC jumps off the page to me. Yeah, you know, I've I've never had. Here you go. Here's 16 ball players. Just take them. There they are. <laughs> there they are. One of them's a starting quarterback. He's a good ball player. He can he can deliver the football. He can he can, he can spin it pretty well, and uh, he's he's mobile. He can run. Uh, we're gonna have to keep him hemmed up and uh, and take away what he does well. We're gonna take that away from him. But uh, they got some good ball players. Uh, running backs are are skilled. Uh, receivers can go out and they can run a route and then catch a ball. So uh, they're, they're a well-coached team, and, and you know, he's done a great job with them, and they'll be ready to play. Well, when you have a football team and maybe you've got 25 or 30 players, and then you're just given 16 more, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know, that adds to yeah. the numbers game, that yeah. adds to the competition of the game, and, and that's got to make them feel pretty doggone good. It's got to make them feel good. I, I feel like in a lot of ways now we've got to beat both uh, Winterbury and TC. Yeah. You know, so and because I think TC had like 18 or 19 players on the team, something like that, and, and the other two or three went to went to Chillisburg. Yeah. So uh, tonight it's, it's almost like playing two teams tonight, but our kids are uh, they're up for the challenge. Uh, they're ready for it, and, and uh, that's what I love about our kids is they, they appreciate an opportunity, and then we got, that, got one tonight. What will you have to eliminate tonight from last week to have an opportunity to win? It's a big well, region game. We, the big yeah. region game. Uh, this puts us in position. When this ball game, it puts us in position uh, to be in the playoffs and to host a game. So we have to win tonight to be able to host a uh, playoff game. Uh, that's our goal is to host and, and, uh, and to be in the playoffs and to host the game. What we've got to do is control the line of scrimmage. Uh, yeah, practically in every ball game you got to do that, but tonight it's very important. Control the line of scrimmage because it might be a slobber knocker tonight with all this, you know, wet footballs yeah. and, and, and wet play tonight and rain going on. So we've got to eliminate fumbles, eliminate the turnovers, control the football, and, and, and win the ball game. How do you protect the football with wet condition? I asked a coach yesterday, did they play – uh, with a wet football any time during the week? And he said, no. And, you know, I'll ask you the same question. Uh, how do you play with a wet football? Uh, you control the ball by, one, desire. Uh, two, being careful and, and taking the handoff properly every time. Uh, what that mesh point is, know what you got to do. Uh, each hand has an eagle claw grip on each end of the football. And uh, you know, I don't care if you have to hold on to it with your teeth. You don't let go of that football. It may be kind of hard to throw the football tonight. It can be a little difficult uh, uh, for us. You know, we got there yesterday with some wet balls and throwing the ball around yesterday, practicing, getting ready for it. But I got cable uh, kids. They, if I ask them to do it, they're going to get it done. You know, a, a region game of this magnitude sometimes kind of puts a little more pressure on kids, but you expect them to play well. Pressure is positive. You know, uh, a little bit of stress, a little bit of pressure can be a good thing in life. It teaches us a lot about how to get ready for the uh, big moments of life, and this mm -hmm. is one of those big moments, and I, uh, it's what I love about sports, that, that pressure moment, you step up the free throw line, you know, and a couple seconds left on the clock, and you hit both of them, you win the game, hit one, you tie, that's, that's pressure, and, and uh, that's what we got tonight. And it's, a, it's a good pressure. It makes us uh, uh, look at what we can uh, become and what we can do and how we can make a difference. All right, kickoff 7 o'clock tonight against the Winterboro Bulldogs. And what about that top 10 ranked volleyball team? Uh, you, you know, Coach is doing a great job with them. Uh, those girls are so much fun to watch. 
they had senior night last night, and our, our two senior girls, we're so proud of them, love them so, so very much. But Coach uh, Junior MacArthur is doing a phenomenal job with them. And uh, as we did that, and we turned around and honored, uh, I believe it was five seniors from B.B. Coleman last night. We honored them as well. And uh, good sportsmanship. But watching those girls play is, is quite impressive to see their, their attitude and their, their action on the, on the court and uh, how they get after it. If you want to watch a good volleyball game, then come to Fayetteville. All right. Congratulations to the Winterboro, or to the Fayetteville volleyball mm -hmm. girls team in the top 10 in Class 1A. And Coach John Limbaugh and the Fayetteville Wolves football team on the road tonight against the Winterboro Bulldogs kick at 7 o'clock. We need that W tonight for a region win. Uh, what I say is go Wolves, come out and support, and yes, we need it. We're going to get it. All right. We've got more daybreak coming up. Coach John Limbaugh show brought to you by Lori Darlings in Fayetteville. More after this.